Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2287 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the best landscapes of biblical wisdom. It's a delight to have you join me on this journey. Today, our exploration takes us into the profound insights of Proverbs chapter 21, verses 17 through 24 from the New Living Translation. As we delve into these verses, let's seek the timeless wisdom that can guide us in understanding the consequences of indulgence and laziness, the value of seeking God's guidance in our plans, and the importance of diligence and wisdom in our daily pursuits. So without further delay, let's explore the wisdom of Proverbs. Verse number 17. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. This verse highlights the consequences of indulgence in the pursuit of pleasure without restraint. How can we strike a balance between enjoying life and avoiding the pitfalls of excessive pleasure-seeking? We need to practice moderation and recognize the consequences of excessive pleasure-seeking and indulgence. Practice moderation in your pursuits, understanding that the unrestrained love for pleasure can lead to poverty. Cultivate a balanced and disciplined approach to enjoyment, ensuring that it aligns with God's principles. Now let's explore verse 18. The wicked are punished in place of the godly, and traitors in place of the honest. This verse speaks of the principles of divine justice, where the wicked may face consequences instead of the godly. How can we trust in God's justice, especially when it seems that the wicked may go unpunished? We need to trust in God's justice by recognizing the principles of divine justice and understanding that wicked may face punishment instead of the godly. Trust that God, in His perfect timing, will bring justice in every situation. Choose to live with integrity and honesty, knowing God's justice will prevail. Now verse 19 continues with the reflection on the value of seeking God's guidance. It is better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome, complaining wife. This verse emphasizes the challenge of living with a contentious spouse and the potential peace of solitude. How can we seek God's guidance in our relationships and decisions? We need to seek God's guidance and recognize the importance of seeking God's guidance in our relationships and all decisions. Understand that living in peace, even solitude, is preferable to constant strife. Seek God's wisdom in your interactions and choices. Trusting His guidance leads us to a life of fulfillment and tranquility. Now let's turn our attention to verse 20. Precious treasures remain in the house of the wise, but the fool devours it. This verse contrasts the wise who accumulate precious treasures with the fool who squanders it. How can we cultivate wisdom in managing our resources and treasures? Cultivating wisdom in finances is done by recognizing the importance of wisdom in managing our resources and treasures. Understand that precious treasures remain in the house of the wise. Cultivate the mindset of stewardship and the wise financial decisions avoiding the pitfalls of foolish consumption and squandering. Verse 21 speaks of the pursuit of righteousness and kindness. Whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. This verse highlights the reward of pursuing righteousness and unfailing love. How can we align our pursuits with the value of righteousness and love? Well, it's done by pursuing righteousness and love and recognizing the rewards of pursuing righteousness and unfailing love. Align your pursuits with the values of righteousness and love, understanding that they will lead to life, righteousness, and honor. Choose to prioritize actions that reflect God's principles of justice and compassion. Now let's explore verse 22. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fortress in which they trust. This verse illustrates the strategic victory of the wise over the strong and those who trust in their fortresses. How can we understand the role of the wisdom in overcoming challenges and obstacles? We need to leverage wisdom and challenges by recognizing the strategic impact of wisdom in overcoming challenges and obstacles. Understand that the wise can conquer even a city of the strong and level the fortresses in which others trust. Cultivate a mindset of wisdom in navigating difficulties, relying on God's guidance for strategic solutions. Verse 23 continues with the reflection of the importance of diligence. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut, and you will stay out of trouble. 
This verse emphasizes the importance of controlling one's speech to avoid trouble. How can we diligently monitor our words and maintain our controlled tongue? Well, we need to exercise diligence in speech and then recognize the impact of controlling your speech and staying out of trouble. Exercise diligence in monitoring your words and maintaining a controlled tongue. Choose to speak with wisdom and restraint, avoiding words that may lead to conflict or trouble. And finally, let's explore verse 24. The proud and arrogant person, Mocker is his name, behaves with insolent fury. This verse describes the characteristics of the proud and arrogant person identified as a mocker. How can we guard against pride and arrogance in our own life? Well, we need to guard against pride and arrogance by recognizing the destructive nature of pride and arrogance, especially when it is expressed with insolent fury. Guard against the pitfalls of pride by cultivating humility in our attitudes and our actions. Choose to interact with others in the spirit of humility and respect. Avoiding behaviors associated with arrogance. And there you have it, my friends. Insights from Proverbs chapter 21, verses 17 through 24. These verses offer us timeless wisdom for practicing moderation, trusting in God's justice, seeking His guidance, cultivating wisdom and finances, pursuing righteousness and love, leveraging wisdom and challenges, exercising diligence and speech, and guarding against pride and arrogance. As we continue on our journey through the pages of the Bible, remember that the wisdom that it offers is our guiding light in navigating the complexities of life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom and make it part of your daily trek. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.